Dear listeners, we have some important updates to share with you from the world of legal metrology. Our government has recently made some significant amendments to the existing act. We have some good news and yes, there's also some not so good news to discuss. Let's begin with the less favorable part of the update. The penalty has been significantly raised, now exceeding the initial act by a factor of 5 to 10 times. But there's no need to worry. We have some positive news to balance things out. Now, the imprisonment clause has been entirely removed, providing a significant relief, allowing for the payment of fines as a preferred alternative. Welcome to MindSync. I'm Bastian Benny, and you are tuning into MindSync's YouTube channel. MindSync is a professional organization providing compliance, consulting, legal, and advisory services. Let's now analyze the seven significant amendments made to the existing Legal Metrology Act and examine the main changes. Let's commence with the examination of penalties for the use of non-standard weights or measures. In Section 25 of the Act, previously violators could face fines of up to 25,000 rupees and potential imprisonment for subsequent offenses, extending up to six months. However, with the recent amendments, imprisonment has been entirely removed and for the initial offense, fines may now reach 100,000 rupees. For the second violation, the fine increases to 200,000 rupees, and for the third and subsequent violations, the fines can soar as high as 500,000 rupees. The penalty also applies to those engaged in the manufacture or sale of non-standard weights or measures. In Section 27 of the Act, notable changes have been introduced. Under the previous act, violators could potentially face fines of up to 20,000 rupees and the possibility of imprisonment for subsequent offenses, which may extend to three years. However, with the recent amendments, the imprisonment has been entirely removed, and for the initial offense, fines may now reach 100,000 rupees. For the second violation, the fine increases to 200,000 rupees, and for the third and subsequent violations, the fines can escalate to as much as 400,000 rupees. Let's now look into penalty for making any transaction in contravention of prescribed standards. In Section 28 of the Act, violators could face fines of up to 10,000 rupees and potential imprisonment for subsequent offenses, extending to one year. With the recent amendments, the imprisonment has been removed, and for the initial offense, fines may reach 50,000 rupees. For the second violation, the fine is 100,000 rupees, and for the third and subsequent violations, it can go up to 200,000 rupees. The penalty also applies if you are quoting or publishing non-standard units. In Section 29 of the Act, Previously violators could potentially face fines of up to 10,000 rupees and imprisonment for subsequent offenses, extending to one year. With the recent amendments, the imprisonment has been entirely removed, and for the initial offense, fines may now reach 50,000 rupees. For the second violation, the fine is 100,000 rupees, and for the third and subsequent violations, it can go up to 200,000 rupees. Documents must be submitted upon request by officials, and failure to do so will result in penalties. Fortunately, the one-year imprisonment clause has been removed. Under the current Act, for the initial offense, fines may reach 25,000 rupees. For the second violation, the fine is 50,000 rupees, and for the third and any subsequent violations, fines can go up to 100,000 rupees. The penalty also applies if you engage in the sale or delivery of commodities using non-standard weights or measures. Previously, in Section 34 of the Act, violators could potentially face fines of up to 5,000 rupees and imprisonment for subsequent offenses, extending to one year. With the recent amendments, the imprisonment has been entirely removed, and for the initial offense, fines may now reach 25,000 rupees. For the second violation, the fine is 50,000 rupees, and for the third and any subsequent violations, fines can go up to 100,000 rupees. If you provide services using non-standard weights, measures, or quantities, you will also be subject to penalties. In Section 35 of the Act, previously, violators could potentially face fines of up to 5,000 rupees and imprisonment for subsequent offenses, which could extend to one year. Now. With the recent amendments, 
for the initial offence, fines may reach 25,000 rupees. For the second violation, the fine is 50,000 rupees. For the third and any subsequent violations, fines can escalate to as much as 100,000 rupees. The government has recently implemented changes in legal metrology with the aim of improving the ease of doing business in India. At MindSync, we are committed to providing guidance on these amendments to ensure your business remains compliant and avoids penalties.